Hi Pisces Risings! Okay, I haven't talked to you guys in a while, but I hope you guys enjoyed the shorts videos. If you haven't seen them, I highly recommend that you check them out because it seems like some of the mini readings are into this reading and I feel like when I do more readings, longer readings, um, it will feed off of the shorts, okay? So it's there for a reason. Check it out. It's like less than one minute, right? Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. <laughs> Alright, so... Anyway, I'm hearing back to the basics. So I feel like you guys can be getting back to the basics, maybe getting back in a routine Pisces. The, your sleeping schedules are fine. They are regulating just normally. They're getting back to like a normal healthy route energy, right Pisces? So yeah, I'm hearing I'm a proud of you. I'm astonished of you. Someone or people, they're very, very happy, very pleased with you, Pisces. I also feel like people could be obsessing over your skin tone, your skin color, Pisces. <laughs> like in a good way, they're like infatuated with it. I'm also hearing like almost like a fetish. I'm also hearing like a foot, foot fungus fit fetish. Okay, um... I don't know, I feel like that doesn't rub you guys the wrong way, but just be careful with that fetish energy because, you know, sometimes people, they just want to, you know, have a, a go around with particular people, place, thing, not because they're genuinely interested in it, they're just genuinely to see like what's different, you know, do I like it, do I not like it, oh yeah, I did try X, Y, and Z, I did try it with that person, you know, so just gonna be very careful and cautious of that. But I'm also getting like you are very much so aware. You are, um, I'm hearing elite. You are sparkling. You're like a diamond in the rough, Pisces. I'm also getting like God is brushing off your your dirt, your shoulders, um, your negative energy, Pisces, right? I'm also getting like you're going through a spiritual bath, a spiritual cleansing, or that's what you need to be doing in these next couple of weeks. Or I'm also hearing something about next Friday. A weekend trip, girls trip, holiday night in. Um, it could be with the holidays. I'm getting like Christmas season time, Pisces. There's so many messages that are coming out like this, Pisces. And like that's so crazy because like, um, yeah, I feel like, okay. So for a majority of you guys, all of you guys, I, I have to say like more than half. That's majority of you guys, right? Um, this is your place for your readings, Pisces. I really do appreciate that. Uh, you know, that kind of puts a little bit of pressure on me though because I do have other channels that I run, but I always try my best, you know. I appreciate your love, support, comments, likes, shares, all the good energies, your humor, dry humor, wet humor, whatever. Love you guys a lot, right? To the moon and to the back. To the moon and back. <laughs> and to the back, like really girl? Okay. So anyway, I feel like some of you guys are having coffee or like a cocktail or like tea. Literally, I got my tea out here, Pisces, which is crazy. Um, all right. So yeah, I feel like someone is like, I don't know, they've been moving really slow towards you, Pisces. I feel like they're meditating. They're taking time out for themselves. They're going over their options in life, maybe finances, career themselves. I'm also getting like they're juggling many... Um, like financial institutions but many jobs you know to get themselves stable i'm also getting like yeah they are on the road to recovery they are on the road of i'm also here like re reproductive system okay so if you guys want to have babies with this individual they are trying to get themselves together they're kind of trying to man up be the man of the house be the, the uh, caregiver if you are a woman's pisces this man wants to take care of you spoil you right that's usually what uh, Pisces risings, what you guys attract is Virgo energy. So this could literally be a Virgo or they have it in their, I'm hearing their North Node, um, their rising, whatever it is, right? So here you are, Pisces. I feel like, you know, since things had slowed down with you and this individual, you had held back. I'm also getting like you were keeping strong. You were holding down the fort. You were uh, holding their relationship or the connection together, Pisces. I also feel like, yeah, you want enlightenment about why things had slowed down or what's going on. Because I'm getting like you didn't ask too many questions. You were just going with the flow, right? You're just being a Pisces, minding your own business. I also feel like, yeah, some of you guys could be focused on your career, on your finances, on your stability as well, Pisces, right? So, yeah, I'm just getting like you guys go hand in hand with one another. You guys' energy is intertwined, right? 
so yeah i'm also getting like people are jealous of your carbon copy or like they're jealous of your man of your woman of your i mean your, your divine spirit your aura pisces like how chill you are how enlightened you are um some of you guys could be preachers some of you guys could be teachers I'm getting like you dabble in tarot. Obviously, it's not a no-brainer for Pisces energy. You guys love tarot, right? That's your guys' realm. It's the 5D tarot, crystals, shamanism, all that stuff. Root work, witches, warlocks, okay? Not all of Pisces risings involve themselves deep in the occult or into spiritual or religious practices, right? But the majority, like the main energies of people, they do, okay? You guys are just connected just like that. You manifest so easily, right? okay so here you are pisces i feel like you're happy maybe about the break or the pause or like there's a new cycle coming in i also feel like you guys could be going on day trips night trips to the spa it's making you very happy making you feel very rejuvenated i also feel like yeah you guys could be drinking a lot of tea pisces look at all this ten of cups out here like a lot of fluids pisces could be water um i'm getting something about rose water maybe you guys bought a lot of rose water for your skincare beauty um your body your foods um okay it could be drinking cranberry juice Drinking very healthy, right? I'm getting like mimosa, mimosas and cocktails at nighttime. Three or less drinks is what you've been doing, Pisces. You're not overdoing it on the alcohol, on the seltzers, on the spirits, which is really, really great, Pisces. Um, but I'm also getting that, yeah, like um, there is a new cycle in your love life, Pisces. When they had shifted the energy with the Queen of Cups and the world out here, right? I'm also getting like, yeah, they have a brand new vision, a brand new authority about them, a brand new ethic code, okay? But I feel like, yeah, you're going to be very happy when this person comes back around because things are totally different. I'm getting like a new 360, new wardrobe, no new haircut, new nails, new skin. Um, when I say new skin, I'm getting like maybe, you know, they're taking care of their skin better or things like that so that's so crazy i said that about you guys but that's literally their energy pisces you guys are taking care of each other you see that that's crazy but i feel like yeah all your dreams are coming true pisces they're literally traveling to you with the world and the ten of cups out here i'm also getting like yeah your bladder is in control pisces you guys can be going through a detox or drinking detox drinks so you're going to the bathroom a lot but you're uh, your pH, your pH is in balance, Pisces. Um, you're like no yeast infections. I'm hearing no chlamydia, no gonorrhea. Okay, so maybe some of you guys went to a clinic for a checkup, or you need to go to the clinic for a checkup if you are active in that area. Um, but they're gonna say that everything checks out, Pisces. And I'm also hearing it's an easy fix. All right, so this is for like a very specific group of you guys very very small i'm getting like nine percent or less maybe you know there was an accident pisces um something had happened you know it's life but it's very curable you know it's not anything i'm getting like it's nothing more than like a yeast infection or um like yeah i'm also hearing like a drug overdose alcohol like like an accident, some sort of accident, an accident in alcohol, Pisces. But you're fine. You're recovering just fine. You were in the safety net and the safety zone. I'm getting like, yeah, the doctor, the doctors are going to send you home with um medication that you can take over three days less, two days, ten days or less, whatever, Pisces, right? But um, it's not going to destroy your health or anything like that. And I'm also getting like it's history now. Okay, it won't happen again. Okay, so. There's that. Um, for the others of you guys, you know, that's not going to resonate for you with, you know, the whole health the scare thing, you know, everything, if it's fine with you. And I'm also getting, yeah, like your re reproductive organs are getting back to normal, back to shape. You're able to have children, Pisces. You're able to be a surrogate if that's what you would like, or you're able to afford one if you would like to, you know, do that via that way. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords and the King of Cups out here. So I feel like, yes, your person is in love with you. They're infatuated with you. They're very, very loyal. I'm also getting they are binding to you. They are stuck to you like glue. They're very possessive, deeply in love with you, Pisces, okay? The Two of Cups, Ace of Swords, and the King of Cups out here. Um, a strong dynamic, a strong duo, okay? So... Tell me
I feel like this person went from the Knight of Pentacles to the King of Cups, but honestly, that's for some of you guys, but they're all, they've always been the King of Cups out here. It's just, they needed time alone, Pisces, right? Maybe they were sad, or they were just so super busy, Pisces, but they're coming back to express their love. Um, I'm also hearing something about counterfeit, counterfeit drugs. Maybe they want to talk to you about this, like, hey... You know, if you're going to involve yourself in um, drugs, you need to be careful and be aware about synthetic drugs or, you know, things that could really harm your body. You know, not everyone has good intentions, yada, yada, yada. Okay, um, yeah, but I'm also hearing, like, you will never have a drug overdose, Pisces, okay? You're very careful, very cautious about what you're doing, right? Um, yeah. But I'm also getting, like, if someone's trying to push you to over, they go over your limit, Pisces, I'm getting, being told that don't do it. You're not going to do it with the world and the Ten of Cups out here. Like, you know your limit. You know, you know, when you feel buzzed, when you feel good. You know when to, you know, yeah, dumb down. You know when to back off of it. Wait till the energy, you know, gets out of your body, out of your system, Pisces, okay? So, um, all right. Hmm. Just being a Pisces, right? Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel like chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So no one else can make you do. Yes, we have the Four of Swords and the Wheel of Fortune out here, Pisces. So what? I really do feel like they want things to change in a more mature, I mean, like, mechanical, structured manner. This could be a Capricorn that you guys are involved with, uh, Virgo, Taurus, any Earth sign. I'm really getting Capricorn and Virgo. It doesn't have to be, though. But I feel like, yeah, they're, they're very sad, Pisces, without you. They're heartbroken and sad without you. I'm getting like they've been crying. They've been counting their tears because they've been away from you with the Nine of Pentacles and Judgment out here, Pisces, okay? So, yeah, but I feel like this person, they care about your health. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Some of you guys are involved with the Virgo, or they come off that way. They're very nurturing, very motherly, very fatherly-like, right? They're going to be ta telling you about your health. But I'm also getting like, yeah, if you guys are going to the clinic with the judgment and the nine of pentacles, like, there's, like, some of you guys are going to be getting tested, but, like, they're not going to find anything. There's no evidence. There's no trace of anything, nothing in your blood, nothing in your semen. Pisces, right? And for others of you, you know, it may be like like no more than a yeast infection or like a I mean bacteria, like vaginosis, something like that, right? It's very common in women. I'm not sure in men. I think it's very common in women, but um, it's a, it's an easy fix, Pisces, right? But I'm also being told that like this could be a wake up call, like hey, pay attention to your health at this time or right now, you know, because I feel like you guys are extremely healthy for the most part. But like I said, things happen, right? Life can't be perfect 24-7. Um, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, this person is stopping what they're doing and they're coming towards you, Pisces. Here you are, Pisces. I feel like, um, yeah, you've been working on your finances too, Pisces. But I feel like, yeah, like, they're coming towards you, okay? They are they don't want to, they're not going to be so busy. Maybe their schedule is back on track or they're able to fit you in, Pisces, or things are under control now, okay? There's a lot, there's a lot of Capricorn energy in this reading, okay? So either they are a Capricorn or they come off that way, okay? Very mature, honest, loyal. But I also feel like, yeah, they may want to apologize and maybe splurge on you, give, get you some gifts or presents, you know. Pisces are like, I'm so sorry I was away, or I'm so sorry I haven't been talking to you. I've been so busy. Yeah, Pisces, I'm getting like, um, there is no confusion about your health, okay. Um, there is an energy going around where I don't know what's going on. It's like someone or something is trying to send out health scares to people maybe to the collective i'm getting like a dark witch a dark wizard uh, pisces it's because their health is failing so maybe it's intentional to help other people to make them you know maybe it's intentional to force people force people to take on that energy force to heal them 
or they're trying to warn people Pisces but you're like we're not all the same I practice you know safe care things like that yeah I'm gonna you smell good your beauty rituals are very strong Pisces right so yeah you're protected though your family friends colleagues if you care about them like that not a big deal we have number 27, Cosmic Heart, Cosmic Christ. So some of you guys could be 27 years old. Um, maybe this person is 27, Pisces. Um, I'm getting 37, 39, 72. Yeah, some of you guys could be 29 years old. Maybe this person is 30. You guys are pretty young, right? Um, but I'm getting like, yeah, they have nothing but love for you. And I'm also getting like, yeah, God is protecting your heart chakra. You're in a protective bubble, you and your family. Okay, your hair, skin, beauty. I mean, your nose, your skin. Um, finances, career, your dreams, Pisces, right? Your Especially your health at this time and your beauty. With the judgment the Nine of Pentacles out here. People could be judging you because you are single. I'm hearing like you don't have... Uh, bedroom time you don't do uh, do activities with people they're judging you off of that they're trying to figure out like how is that possible how are you so clean how are you so pure i also feel like some of you guys are uh you've never done adult activities you never had bedroom time with people and they could be judging you or maybe saying that you're a liar or saying that yeah they're like oh you're too cute to be clean or something like that pisces right i'm getting like that's the devil trying to taunt you you know what i mean when you're ready to uh give it away then then you will do it right there's no pressure to that okay you're safe and you're protected okay because i'm getting like people feel like you have like a, a sweet innocence attached to you and like you could be like 42 and you're like you, you look like a kid pisces and like you have like a, a childlike energy about you pisces that's because of pisces rising like that's how you guys were created you like yeah like that like you know what i mean pisces like oh my gosh i feel like some of you guys are a bit silly watching this you know Okay, so we have affirmation for positive change. So I feel like, yeah, like I said, the will of fortune's out here. This is like the will of fortune for a change, a transformation. They're going through a metamorphosis, Pisces, and so are you. We have meditation for peace and serenity. So yeah, all they've been doing was reconnecting with God, angels, universe, higher power, you know, zoning in with themselves, Pisces, right? Um, they just needed peace in their life. They needed to take a step back. They needed, I'm getting like they also started their own spiritual journey. They're awoke now, Pisces. Oh my gosh, you woke this person up because of your energy. You guys combined, like you take them seriously and God was like, okay. Well, you know, Pisces Rising is like this. You know, maybe they had asked. They're like, hey, well, what is this person like? They reached out to God, higher power, tarot reader, whatever. And now they're trying to get on board with you, Pisces. I'm also getting, like, clean eating. Like, maybe they want to shave their head. Oh, my gosh, Pisces. <laughs> this may scare some of you guys a bit, you know. But I feel like, you know, they're learning off of you and your actions and your behavior, Pisces, right? So in a way, you're like teaching this person like, hey, this is what you do. This is how I do it. You know, you have free will. You can do whatever you want. You can wear whatever you want. Say what you want. I'm also getting like, yeah, they're, you're going to you're gonna study this person's birth chart for them, Pisces. And you're going to tell them answers about them stuff or help them out. Um, whoa. I'm also getting like, those are for those that um, are interested in this or like, you know what you're doing, you know. But yeah, you guys are just so gifted and so smart when it comes to this spiritual work, okay? And the thing is, you guys all manifest in a different way, but it's all so similar because you guys are all Pisces Risings. You guys can understand each other and how you manifest. It's pretty much the same, you know, just a little bit of, um, you know, a little bit of uh, twists and turns for certain people. But you guys all share a common denominator, right? Yeah, we have the Three of Swords out here. I'm getting like, yeah, if you've been heartbroken or hurt, like I said, there's nothing to cry about. This person's not lonely anymore. And, yeah, I'm, I'm hearing like, I'll see you on the other side. I see you. I'll see you when I see you, right? So, yeah, they're on their way to you. So, I hope this uh, resonates for you guys. I hope this helped you out. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I love you.